find that the guy has been shot, does the police officer decide to say, oh, yeah, I might have accidentally fired my gun. So the... No, it's on, it's on camera. It's all on camera. How, like, now, I know, like, for the most part, I, I hate to generalize, yeah. but uh, cops are stupid. Yes. Uh, I think it's a Sarah Silverman joke when she gets pulled over and the cop asks her, do you know why I pulled you over? And she says, because you got a C average in high school. <laughs> Something right. like that. Right. Yeah, yeah, but that's basically, like, how dumb are these guys with, so this on is where, camera? This is where the story should end. You know, bad cop goes to jail for killing a person he didn't need, did not need to right. shoot. So the district attorney, prosecuting attorney, whatever, looks at the videotape and says, obviously, it was an accidental firing because they're trained to shoot twice. So since he only shot the guy in the body, in the neck once, <laughs> and reholstered his gun, that means uh, it was accidental. Nice. I like and it. And the fact that he yeah. lied on his, you know, he didn't tell anyone, yeah. that's just, just a sign. It must Why be would you? It's just a sh- it's an accidental yeah. shot. So he, of course, will not be arrested, will not be prosecuted, will not be tried by a jury of his peer, whatever. You and know? this took place in California? In November, yeah, November 25th. Um, really? Yeah, November 25th. Wow. It was uh, actually about a minute to midnight. It just like happens like every day, doesn't it? Yeah, and it's just, you know, you're supposed to go, okay, no one wants there to be bad cops. But was it, No one wants there to be pedophile please, priests. Please tell me the driver of this SUV or whatever flipped over was a white guy. In this particular case, you are, it seems, in luck. Uh, his name is something Thomas, and uh, uh, I, yeah, it looks like he's a yeah. white guy. I mean, not to generalize. He could be of mixed race yeah, or but, heritage or whatever, but, but yes, that's Andrew We've got to start evening that whole thing out. It, I, is, I, it is true. See, if cops were smart, they'd just start shooting white guys yeah. to just take some of the heat off. It'd be nice, yeah. yeah. Um, another cop, uh, bad cop, at least in this case, was eventually prosecuted. Uh, there was just the conviction of uh, the rapist cop. Oh, Oklahoma. Yeah. This is the Oklahoma cop yeah. that raped 57. Oh, no, no. Thir- it's 13 is that he was tried for. Okay. Thir- 13, 13. 57. That's, I was thinking Bill Cosby. That's Bill Cosby. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what I was so thinking. Bad, yeah. That's a, that's a no. Cosby number. Yes, yes. Yeah. Nobody, yeah. You got to yeah. be super wealthy to get to that yeah. number. But yeah. Now, this guy raped 13 black women. Uh, most of them he knew were already, you know, criminal record and, and knew that people wouldn't believe them and told them no one's going to believe you, you know. And, I, and I, I can tell you, you know, being a juror of a very similar situation. Yeah, people don't believe people who are bottom rung, uh, you know, maybe had some prostitution charges or some other type of charges. Your people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My, my. So uh, the thing that did him in was he – he did this to a woman that had no prior records who was felt like she had some rights. Gotcha. She went to the police and they believed her and that unraveled the whole thing. The problem has been that there's got the, I can't believe he got convicted. The court has done the court case got all very little press. Um, apparently Don Lemon, uh, on that 24 hours news network, he never found a reason to talk about it. Um, and he was taken to task by, a. a Another black journalist who used to be on CNN. Um, is it Martin? Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? Anyway. Uh, yeah, there's a it, last name Martin. I forget who it is. Yeah. So Roland Martin, um, who's, who particularly mentioned uh, Don Lemon. But anyway, the point is that it got almost a little press until this last week. He was convicted on his 29th birthday. And as he was being uh, taken out, some of these women who you know had to testify, had to be, have their own records probably thrown in, yeah. uh, they sang him happy birthday. Uh, this was he, he gave great video because this like an SNL skit. Yeah. Well, when he was convicted, he immediately was sobbing like a baby. I know what that's that was weird. I mean, like, I've never, I mean, it was because the thing is, like, obviously, this guy's scummy got convicted on so many charges, but that was the only side thing was that like, could he possibly really not have done it because he's crying so much? But it was just like, but such an evil guy. To well, cry like that is it because he knows he's going to be subjected to the same treatment for the next 40, 50 years of his life? I mean, yeah, right. I, again, I think it's wow. all in your perspective. 18, 18 counts of rape. I just oh. read. Yeah, yeah. There, there was thirteen at the trial. Okay, and the range of ages was from seventeen to fifty-seven. Oh. That's where I got the fifty-seven number. Oh, okay, I see. But here's the thing. I I think that 
He Daniel probably Holt, deserves Daniel Holtzclaw was the name, by the way. And so everyone deserves kind of like a second chance, especially if you're a cop, right? <laughs> yes. And in his defense, if I was his lawyer, I would have just pled that hey, they're all still living. Yeah, he didn't he, shoot anybody, and, and he could have because they're all black, right? And and uh, I think if he'd had a, the Paradise California guy, would have been like, well, he's trained to shoot twice. He didn't shoot at all. It couldn't have been a cop. Yeah, could have been you know, else. It could have been an accident. Yeah, could have been accident. an accident. An accidental, accidental discharge. Yes. Discharge. Yeah, there you go. Um, but I'm yeah. And, uh, uh, now my my uh, some people are posting about it because it does seem to be um, a little bit of uh, you know prejudice in terms of the fact that the, these crimes were not covered until very recently. You didn't get it wasn't a big oh, big item. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did go looking for a similar case, and and there was one. It was a white guy, a white cop, who presumably raped uh, white women. I'll, I'll tell you, they tend to be, um, uh, yeah, the white women. But uh, anyway, this particular case, this is from about five years ago. And what's interesting about it is he is another guy named, uh, I know I'm on a tangent here, but uh, Pero, he was so thorough in how he would go about not just raping the women, but he would take the bed sheets from them. He would make them take a shower and make them wash so oh, that wow. they would never yeah. find any of his DNA. Ugh. And he, when the FBI profiled this guy before they caught him, the FBI said he is going to be a like model citizen. People are going to say there's no way he did it. And sure enough, this, uh, he tried to break into a woman's apartment, and she happened to be awake. He, he would do background checks on these people and knew, knew who their family was and everything. He would threaten them. Wow. So anyway, she calls 911. A police officer shows up and sees a man looking in the window, says, you know, halt, police. The guy turns around, probably ready to run, and he recognizes him as having been his former supervisor. Wow. And that's when that case all became, you know, unraveled and he was arrested and everything. But, so there was, there was a similar case that probably wasn't the biggest news story either. I mean, kind of went and, but, it, but it also wasn't based on him using their race against them. Because this guy was raping black women because he knew that no one was going to believe Man. their story, you know? So anyway, that's all I have on that. But I, I do feel like it's almost as if the Catholic Church and the police could get together and work on their strategies. Like, how do you protect your people? This is how we protect our people, you know? Yeah. Um, we make sure that there's no lo- there are laws that protect police officers way above the normal citizen. Um, we make sure that prosecuting attorneys have a vested interest in not prosecuting police because we want their cooperation on everything else. Right. So we're just going to make yeah. it like impossible for a police officer to be convicted. Yeah. Even if we see video of a guy shooting another man in the neck who is now going to be paralyzed for life probably, by the way, um, we're going to protect that guy. I mean, it's not like, oh, just a few bad apples. Yeah, if, if it was just a few bad apples, you would go after the bad apples. Right. You don't protect the bad apples. But they are like, let's protect the bad apples and keep them in the Yeah, no, that's band. how I feel about cops. Is yeah. Until the good ones, if it's just a few bad ones, then there should be more good ones speaking up. Yes, yes. And there's not. There's not. So it's, you know what, they're, as far as I'm concerned, they're all bad. You know, it's, it's really hard to trust, um, trust them. So why don't you get us back on topic with the... the uh, uh, I want to yeah. Oh, uh, after you called me to task for being so superficial, talking about the Golden well, Globes. Well, it's, it's. I mean, first of all, it's kind of depressing. Yeah, it's like really depressing because yeah. I think what they agreed to was a one and a half degree uh, uh, limit on uh, the. But it's voluntary. Yeah, yeah. Carl. Um, something's frozen on this. I apologize. Oh, here we go. Sorry about that. Let it go. Let it go. That's all I know with the frozen soundtrack. Oh, they, yeah. When the thing came out, they didn't stop singing that for, yeah. Um, did you happen to see the footage of the Canadian premier? Prime Minister? Oh, hang on. Uh, we're going we're gonna to go back? No, 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 no. Okay, now, all of a sudden, it was showing that it does record. It's like, that's real okay. It's, oh, Jesus, 
that we'll go back and no, go ahead. edit that out. Okay, I think you're okay with doing it. Sorry. I'll edit later. Okay, you will cut All out right. this part. This is the part that won't ever make it to the air. Okay. okay. Sorry. All right. So, uh, so yeah, maybe, uh, you know, since you called me to task for the Golden Globe thing, maybe you can bring us back and talk about the uh, – the summit? Did you? What did we learn about the summit? Oh, uh, that, that uh, there's a, an agreement. Uh, I, well, they're they're extending the talks, but um, it includes a uh, one and a half degree uh, target for limiting global warming. But it's voluntary. Yeah. In other words, it's yeah. it mean, meaningless. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's um, it's like you know you've got this house on fire and you're like, okay, we're gonna put out the garage. <laughs> And they're like, you know, if you put out the garage, if it's you just going to. Yeah, if, yeah. if you want to. Okay, we're going to have a voluntary agreement that each yeah. of us brings some water to this fire. Yeah. And it's like, well, you know, if the house burns, the garage is going to catch on fire anyway. And he's like, no, no, we're going to do everything we can to save the garage. It's a step. It's a first step. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I agree. that it's, I mean, it's too little, too late. It's, it's really depressing. It's very depressing. It's probably yeah. the most depressing news that I've heard in a week. Yeah, and then the, uh, there's the Maldives. There's a lot of these lower land, uh, lowland uh, islands that are the, you know, the most in danger. And so, of course, they're the hopefully the yeah. loudest against this. But, but yeah, and and, and you know, we we're all yeah. about the economy. We've got to keep the economy. And so, if we do anything to do that in any way hurts the economy, well, you know, we can't do that. It's like, well, what about the people that are going to drown or, or lose their homes as they're forced? Yeah. To to move. Um, you know, SOL. And uh, those, the ones that have the most at stake are the smallest countries, right? Yeah. And so. Who have the least they can do. You know, they can't, if yeah. they, if they go completely electric, you know, solar or whatever, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's, they're, they're not the ones that are polluting like China and the United States and Europe. And I do think, uh, Contrary to uh, progressive tendencies or whatever, but I, I I think that the free market could, in fact, probably help resolve this if we move towards green energy. But you got to get the guys who own all the dinosaur squeezins, yes, to stop buying the politicians. Yeah, you right? ha- yeah you have to do that. You have to uh, you know you can have incentives. You say. Here's millions of dollars for research because we've already done the research on oil. We already know how to make gas engines. So it's always going to be hard to beat the gas engine until you put the research into the batteries and the solar and the wind and the waves and geothermal. There's a lot of things that we could do. But if you're already subsidizing oil and you give all these tax write-offs and you know, it's going to be very difficult for a small company. And, of course, the Solaria a false scandal, you know, where all well, these... That was real, dude. Yeah, yeah. All these conservatives are like, oh, they, they went bankrupt. You know, it's like, yeah, most businesses do. You know, you invest in 100 and if 50 of them make it, you're doing pretty good. And yeah. those 50 might make billions. But, you know, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's about investing. Um, well, that's why I'm voting for Donald Trump because uh, I think he'll, he'll make... What's his uh, tagline? Make, Make America, America great again. Ma- yeah. Make America great again. Yeah. At least he's admit- admitting that we're no longer great. Yeah. Um, so you got to give him that. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm in these various uh, groups of uh, people that tend to be uh, overtly patriotic, uh-huh. let's say. Sure. Uh, you know, they sing. Wear the American flag. And, oh, and, yeah. They yeah. wear the flag pin. They, they sing the... Uh, the national anthem and yeah. the heart, the Pledge of Allegiance. At every opportunity. Every every opportunity. and uh, I dropped my fork. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag. And, was... <laughs> and they, always, they always talk about how great, how, how uh, they thank God that they live in the greatest country in the world. Right. Yeehaw. What? I mean, I don't doubt that at some point in time we were the greatest country. In, but what are the things that we are the greatest at? You know, we have the most Olympic gold. <laughs> I'll end yeah. Yeah. No, you know, yeah, um, and- I'll tell you what America is. America is still, despite all the things we've done wrong in this world, 
we are still the beacon of hope. And um, I took a cab ride, or no, it wasn't a cab ride. It was a it was a Uber lift. It was actually a lift uh, by this. 